Well, we have now made ourselves, or made our way inside the Mill Isle Bed and Breakfast here in Merrickville, and we are now in the Rideau Room, joined once again by Hugh McLennan, who's one of the owners here. Uh, this is a beautiful, beautiful room. Maybe just tell us a little bit about its history. Well, this is the only twin bedded room that we have in the house, and it, uh, it was originally the uh, nursery and uh, birthing room for the McGee family. There were a lot of little girls born in here, <laughs> and uh, no boys. But uh, we, we often get McGee family members back visiting, and they're, they're always impressed that their grandmothers and great-grandmothers right. were born in this room. So, it's um, pretty crazy. Uh, all the rooms have their own bathrooms. This one has an all suite with shower. Okay. And this is just one of the rooms you have here. There's a total of, of five? Five rooms, and there's three on this floor, two, uh, two upstairs. And, uh, Perfect. So we can move along to yeah. the Yeah, and hall to the I mean, beautiful spot. The decor, you said you try to keep you know, things intact the way it would have been right. back in, in the day, I guess. Mind you, none of them had bathrooms. So all of these right. bathrooms you see were put in, uh, <laughs> in Recently. stages over the, uh, <laughs> over the last hundred years. Yeah. And, uh, this one, this room was is the Empire, and this wow. was at one time the uh, the master bedroom for the okay. house. And uh, the room has been a bit partitioned to create a, a large bathroom, but uh, it's, it's beautiful. Um, it has uh, a little sitting area. I was going to say, I love yeah. that little tower sitting every, area. Every man's home is his castle. So in the Victorian <laughs> times, they used to build these towers on the front of the houses. So this one has a queen size bed in it and mm -hmm. uh, a large bathroom with a whirlpool tub and. Uh, separate shower and uh, we actually uh, keep our luggage rack in there because it's, really? <laughs> it's more space to put, put luggage. I bet. Now we're taking a tour of the bathroom here. This mm -hmm. is where the hot tub is? Yeah, it's a big tub. Wow. And, uh, as you can see, it's handcrafted about yeah. 35 years ago by one of the owners. That's was, gorgeous. Uh, an amazing worker, a man named Blakeney, and uh, he did some amazing pieces of work, including yeah. this, this window, which comes from a wow. uh, church that was being demolished in Quebec. And you were saying a lot of the stained glass windows inside the home are the original. Yes. These are not. These, right. This no. is, uh, this is uh, almost an art. Recrafted. Yeah, yeah. And how do you kind of keep that feel uh, of modern, like we're kind of seeing here in the bedroom, but then more uh, traditional I think, uh, Victorian? I think the, um, the, 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 the paper, wallpaper is a big factor, just uh, the way we color the walls. The way you decorated. The colors are chosen. Um, uh, inevitably, because there were never bathrooms in these rooms, that right. when you step into a bathroom, people don't want to step into a Victorian bathroom. <laughs> no, I guess that not. That would not be a pleasant Because that would be uh, a separate, you know, little hut altogether, right. wouldn't it? Yes, it would. It wouldn't even be in the main yeah. house. Well, we do still have the... Uh, the uh, privy outside, and I tell people that if they are caught smoking in the bathrooms, <laughs> they lose their potty privileges and have to go outside. And what's this final room we're taking this a tour This is the of? Georgian. We're actually in the private hallway of the Georgian. It has a bedroom, a wow. sitting room, and its own bathroom. And this uh, this is called the Georgian because the furniture is uh, um, Georgian period, okay. uh, including that 1880s chest of drawers uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the corner. And uh, the, the previous room we, we were in called the Empire because the uh, it's French Empire, so it's 1850s furniture in there. Wow. This is uh, early... Uh, 1900s. So, I mean, there's a history lesson behind mm -hmm. each and one of these yeah. rooms. Yeah, and uh, of course there are touches that are not at all. Right. But that is my mother's rocking chair in the corner. Is it really? Yes, it is. And I love all the little pieces here and the little tidbits, you know. I was looking around at some of the decor you have here mm -hmm. and you were saying you, you picked this Just up touches. here, you yeah. picked that up there. Well, we did have 20 years out of the country and uh, we always traveled even before that. So, so you have lots of experience yeah, yeah. with this sort of stuff. We moved here from Los Angeles and Los Angeles is a, a melting pot of peoples, so. Right. Okay, well, when we come back, we're going to hit the kitchen. I can't wait to yeah. see what your wife okay. is preparing for Very us. Good. <laughs>